Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce and this is Rohit and today I am going to discuss about this copying permissions from profile to permission set. So how to do that? In this video you will be learn these things. This is the very most important concept and this is the very most important you know sort and tips and tricks regarding these things because Salesforce already move some you know like permissions from profile to permission set. So if you want to learn something new so please watch this video until end. Also, you can subscribe the channel. You can turn on the bell icon for more updates. So you never will miss any kind of update from my side. So let's get started without any further delay. So first of all, you have to do one thing. I will show you these things like copying permissions from profile to permission set using VS Code. So it's not manual step. It's like I already. So in this video, you will be learn this automation things, not manual things. Okay. So you can watch this video until end. So just you have to log in into your org. So I just logged in to my org here. You can see, and I have created one custom object that is called demo. So here you can see the demo object. And under this demo object, once you open this custom object, so now you can see the field and relationship like this. So entity name is the custom field. All are standard field. So I will provide this kind of you know uh, all the information for the permissions and permission set as well as profile. So how to do that? Very simple. So first of all, you have to check the profile for this, you know, uh, object. So how to check the profile? Click on the setup. You can search here like profile. And once you open the profile, just open the uh, system administrator profile because I already given the permission uh, to this profile that is system administrator for this object demo object so just click on the s and under system administrator once you open it this is the system admin profile and here you can see once we find like demo so under demo you can see the page layout and this is a custom level you know security fls so demo if you need to see this one so you will be see here FNS things regarding this object, demo object and this profile, admin profile. So how to move these kind of permissions from profile to permission set using VS Code. So you will learn these things. So here you can see the field level security or field level security here you can see like read access, edit, edit access, something like that, right? Under the profile, once you click on another demo, and here you can see the object level permission. So I am letting even like all the permission regarding this demo object. So how to move these kind of permissions uh, to the permission set? Very easy. So first of all, you have to open your SFDX project. So here you can see this is my SFDX project. Under this project, by default, once you created this LWC project, so you will be see another folder here. This is a manifest project. So just click on this uh, manifest you know, uh, folder and based on this manifest folder, we have like package.xml, right? So under this package.xml, I already removed lots of things regarding this uh, video. So you can add more metadata inside this package.xml. So I just use like profile and permission set. Here you can see two attributes and star means all. So I want to retrieve all profile with all permission sets. So this is the two attributes here in this metadata package.xml okay so under my org i need to create like permission set first so how to create the permission set just under the click file you have to search like permission set so just click on this permission set and once you open the permission set you can create new one just click on the new and once you open it now you can give the permission set name let's say demo click on the save so here once you saved it this permission set you cannot see any you know, object level uh, setting regarding this permission set as well as you know apex class related things so i want to show you how to move that permissions in the profile from the profile to this permission set so in the if you see here in the profile level you will be see this kind of things let's say you know like uh, object uh, setting we already seen and uh, apex as well in the profile level so i want to move that permission to permission set so here you can see which object so this is a permission set here you can see the demo one let me search the demo so you can see the demos 
click on this demos here and once you open this here you cannot see any you know like object level secure or like uh, security okay so how to provide this security based on that permissions in the profile we already seen in the system admin profile right so how to provide that one so you can provide this one using uh, this permission set and uh, some metadata so under here you cannot see any you know apex related things under this uh, permission set so how to provide this access using vs code so just once you write your package dot example like this now you have to do one thing just retrieve your you know profile and permission set so how to retrieve it very simple just open your terminal here and once you open your terminal you can see the terminal and lots of commands inside this one so let me re uh, retrieve the profile and permission set first so here you can see uh, i want to retrieve this uh, you know profile here you can see the profile like administrator profile so let me retrieve this one right so you can retrieve using this sfdx4 source colon dot read hyphen m profile and so now you can see is uh, automatic uh, retrieve the profile so once you click on this profile folder you can see the admin profile metadata here uh, it's retrieve all the metadata regarding you know uh, that profile so admin profile have lots of you know metadata that's why you can see number of lines here so it's up to i think it's uh, up to uh, it's uh, 11408 you can see right and uh, this is the metadata regarding this admin profile and let me open my terminal and uh, now this time i want to retrieve my um, permission set so how to retrieve the permission set so under the org browser you can see the org browser you can retrieve the metadata from the org browser as well from org to uh, this vs code local code okay so once you click on this org browser you will be see lots of metadata regarding our org and you can see lots of things regarding this org so come down and you will be see the permission set right so you have to search like permission set here like permission set let me search the permission here so here you can see the permission set let me refresh it and now immediately you can see the demo one right we already created demo one let me retrieve this one and once you retrieve it you will be see this permission here this is the permission set so once you open the permission set folder you can see the demo one so this is the permission set here under admin you can see the all the metadata regarding this profile i want to move this metadata to you know uh, this permission set so how to do that very simple just please focus this step this is a very most important under this permission set now you have to enter your metadata of this admin profile so we already talked about this like uh, how to provide the apex class access using permission set instead of profile right and also like object level security and fns so we will see this kind of three features in this you know metadata in from profile to permission set so just let me do that one thing just let me search first of all my object so you can search like demo here i already created demo so let's see the demo one so here you can see object permission so you have to copy this object permission from here to here this is the one node so let me copy it and paste it inside the permission set like this after that you can check the field so let me check the field uh, like demo field so here like this is the tab one no need this one so let me check the field so field permission you can see the field permission so let me copy this one and paste it here in the top of you know object or after the object based on your need you can add it here also and please observe uh, right now we don't have any apex class access in this permission set also we don't have any object level permissions right so we have this permission inside the profile but i want to move that permission from profile to permission set that is the purpose of this video so here after that you have to do one thing just go down here in the uh, uh, admin profile under the admin profile we have like apex so we have to search like apex or you can search the demo as well no problem so here you can see the class axis so you have to just copy it paste it into the this permission set let me save this permission set 
and once you save this permission set now you will be see so here you can see our permission set is successfully saved and once you save it now you have to do one thing just you can uh, deploy this permission set to the or so right click on this you know uh, metadata and here you can see the deploy this source to org once you clicked on this deploy to source to org now immediately this permission set deployed into your org and once you open the permission set here this is the my permission set demo and you will be see uh, that uh, object label axis you can see automatically uh, enabled once you refresh this page so let me refresh this page here and once you refresh it now you can see all the permission checked by the permission set instead of the profile so here you can see it's automatic checked all the permission read create edit delete view all and modify all also you can add it or remove the field level security as well in this area so here you can see in the field level if you see here this is the readable true editable true right you can make it like false or something like that based on your requirement you can make it like this and also in the apex one uh, this is another one so under here uh, you cannot see any apex class axis once you refresh it you will be see here so let me refresh it and now this permission set have this apex class axis so instead of profile uh, assignment or you know like axis you can create your permission set instead of the profile so Salesforce already recommended these things so you have to follow it so now you can see immediately demo class is coming here right so this is how you can convert or you can copy the you know permission uh, permissions from the profile to permission set so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please like share comments also subscribe the channel also you can share this video among the pupils or any relative uh, regarding the salesforce developer okay so guys please turn on the bell icon for more updates if you want to learn something new in the next video so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys